If you've been wanting to acquire a bidirectional scanner to access dealer level functions and service functions for your vehicle, you may have noticed that they're very expensive, close to $1,000 for a base bidirectional scanner, and those include many brands of vehicles that we may potentially never work on. Well, Launch has recently introduced a solution called the Critter Elite, and what they are, they're full bidirectional scanners, but they're specific to a few brands. For example, this particular one is is gonna work for BMW, Mini, and Rolls Royce. So if those are the three brands that we're ever gonna work on, we can save a lot of money by buying this scanner under $200 versus spending thousands of dollars on a bi-directional scanner with hundreds of brands or models that we might never ever work on. And in addition to this BMW scanner, Launch has also introduced a Mercedes-Benz specific one, a Chevrolet specific one, Cadillac, GMC, and Audi. And I suspect they're gonna be adding more more brands as the product continues to grow in popularity so I'll put a link to this one in the description as well a link to the other ones if your vehicle is of a different brand and on this video I'm gonna review this Critter Elite and show you its features and functions but now let's check out the contents of the Critter Elite by launch Ooh, very nice and here's the Critter Elite bi-directional scanner which is a touchscreen tool it has a 4 inch high resolution color screen and three buttons in the bottom now the body of it it has rubberization on the ends. This almost feels like it had a case, which is gonna be convenient if we drop this tool. This feels quite sturdy. And on the bottom of the tool, we have a little dust cover. And if I pull that dust cover to the side, we can see that we have a USB-C connector and a space for a memory card. And in the main menu, we have six options to choose from. And most of the time, the troubleshooting is gonna be done with the diagnose function because this is a smart function. It can pull automatically the bin from the vehicle and using that bin, identify what car the scanner is working with and then check all of its systems. So as we can see right now, this right here is showing us the information of the vehicle. Now what you're seeing right now is the launch demo module, which is a great feature of these scanners. I really like them because they can be used to either practice how to use this tool so we don't practice on a live car or we can use them to train a potential technician. And as you can see, we're going to get three choices when we connect to the car. We're going to have the choice to run a full health report and the health report checks every single module that is located in the vehicle now newer cars are going to have more modules than older cars older cars have less modules but this allows this tool to check the entire car completely and then give us a full status report. So as you can see for this particular vehicle, we have three errors that have been detected in the PCM, which is the main computer, and we see what the errors are. We have a PO401, P1291, P2073. However, if we scroll down, we can see that the transmission control module passed all the tests. ABS passed all the tests, no issue there. The immobilizer passed all the tests. So it's neat that we're able to run a full check on a car with that single health report option. But we can also get this report in a summary form by hitting report. And now we have a report that can be shared with the information from the vehicle and the information of what was wrong with it. As you can see on here, it shows that we have three codes that are normal in the PCM and it shows that the rest of the systems pass the testing and then we can share it from here. We also have a clear code option. For some reason, if we wanted to clear the codes that this unit found, we can hit clear codes and it will let us erase the codes. However, we do not want to erase them if the car has not been fixed. However, if we have fixed the car, we can clear the codes and get rid of that check engine light. The second option is going to be the system scan option. And what this does, this doesn't run a full comprehensive health report. What it does is scans the car to determine what modules are present on there because some cars will have more modules than others and we want to only focus on the ones that are present. So as you can see on here for this particular vehicle, it has pretty much every module that we can think of and all of them are going to be listed on here as equipped or not equipped. This is helpful to know what computer systems we are dealing with when troubleshooting a vehicle. And the last option is going to be system selection. 
function. Instead of going through all the modules and checking every single one, if we know which module is going to have the information we need, we can go to it directly. Perhaps we are interested in interacting with the ABS computer, we can go to that ABS computer and read the codes if there were any on there. If we wanted to read the codes on the PCM, we can go to the PCM and so on and so on for every one of those modules. Now some of these modules are also going to have additional functions in there. For example, reading the data stream. This is going to be very helpful because if we want to pull live data from the vehicle, we can definitely do it. And let's try it out, for example, the engine coolant temperature sensor. And let's also look for my second favorite one, which is going to be the oxygen sensor. I'm going to hit OK over here, and we're going to see what that data will look like. As you can see, we have the temperature of the engine coolant, and we also have it in voltage form. Now, sometimes looking at voltage versus the actual value can help us to confirm if the sensor is working with the specified requirements on the factory. We also have the O2 sensors, but what's also really neat is instead of just seeing values, we can choose to graph that data. In items like an O2 sensor, graphing data helps tremendously as a car technician to be able to interpret it. Additionally, we can also choose to record the data. This is very convenient if for some reason we wanted to drive around the vehicle and record the data or just record the data that we're pulling the from the vehicle to review later. And as far as pulling live data from a vehicle, this is going to greatly depend on the car that we're working on. Newer cars, we're able to pull a lot of data from them. In older cars, there's going to be less parameters that we can look at. But for example, this newer 4 has a tremendous amount of potential data that we can look at. But going back to the diagnostics page, we also have a little history tab that keeps records of the vehicles that we have worked on which is convenient if we're working on multiple vehicles at the same time to have that data organized under and refer to it in the future. The next option is the OBD2 diagnostic mode. We know this tool is going to work with BMW, Mini and Rolls Royce. But if we wanted to use this tool to troubleshoot a different brand vehicle, that's where we're going to use that OBD2 function for. We're not going to have full bidirectional control and service functions, but we can still access basic OBD2 functionality and advanced OBD2 functionality. We can check if the car is ready for smog inspection. We can read live data just like I showed you earlier. We can read codes from the vehicle and also erase the codes, which turns off the check engine light. Now this happens to be a 2001 Chevy Impala and I'm going to show you for example on here if this even though this car is older there is still quite a bit of sensors that we can get live data from to help us troubleshoot a vehicle. So that is the purpose of the OBD2 diagnostic. And the next icon is going to be the reset maintenance functions. If I click on that normally we will see functions on here reset the TPMS, reset the oil service light. However it is blank. Why is it blank if this tool supports reset functions. Well, those reset functions are going to be inside of the diagnose. If I'm working on BMW, I'll go inside of BMW. Rolls Royce, I'll go inside of there. Or Mini, I'll go inside of there. So what is the purpose of this reset icon? Well, that is to add additional service functions for other vehicle brands other than BMW, Mini, or Rolls Royce. And we do those through the mall. And this is what the mall looks like. And as you can see, we have additional service functions for other vehicles than the ones that this tool is made for. So you don't need to rebuy the BMW, you don't need to rebuy the Mini or Rolls Royce because those are included in this tool already. But if I wanted to work, for example, in another vehicle that is not included on this particular tool from the factory, for example, if we happen to have a Citroen, then we can add that feature to here. Now, this is a great idea because we can add piecemeal that specific car that we want to add. And I'll scroll through here so you can see some of the modules that are on here, some of the brands that are available, and some of the pricing too as well. Moving back to the right hand side of the screen, we have the update option and we used this earlier to update the tool. As you can see, everything's still grayed out. So this tool is up to date, but we can always go back on there and check for updates. And finally, we have the systems option. Now in the systems option, we can change between metric or imperial for the units. We can also adjust the brightness. Right now I have it somewhere in the middle. We can also choose to turn off the sound. Remember, this is almost like an Android tablet. So a lot of this menu is going to look very familiar to you if you use an Android device before. And that was the Launch Creator Elite for BMW, but as I mentioned, it is available for other brands as well. Now, who is this tool for? 
I think this tool is gonna work great for anybody who only works or specializes in maybe one or two brands. So you're not looking to spend a lot of money to buy a full-size scanner that includes a ton of brands. You only specialize on one or two vehicles, you can save a lot of money by buying one of these tools. However, if you are in a shop environment where you're gonna encounter many brands, then this is when I would recommend stepping up to the larger bi-directional scanners that already include that up front. However, as I mentioned, earlier be aware that this thing is about two hundred dollars and a bi-directional scanner is going to be upwards a thousand dollars two or three thousand dollars depending on which one you get now, i previously reviewed the launch x431 which is a full bi-directional scanner same company as this one so you'll be able to compare if you watch that review the functionality of that full-size bi-directional scanner to the bi-directional scanner capabilities that this small version offers so i think it's a great idea that they have made this kind of offering for those specific mechanics who may be on a budget or like I said, may not need to work on a ton of different vehicles. Now, if you recall, I did show you that training module that they built in where you can simulate the vehicle. I do wish that launch had included the BMW training simulation module, not only so I could show you the special functions, but also allow you to train on the scanner before going on to the car. So hopefully we'll see that on the next update. So remember, I put a link to the Critter Elite scanner for BMW in the description down below. Below, but I'm also gonna put links down there also to the other Critter Elites that support other vehicles as well. If you guys found any part of this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and stay tuned as I have a lot more OBD2 scanners, bi-directional tools, and cool car gadgets coming up. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one.